Since gaining a seat on the United Nations Security Council, Australia has continued to criticise the Iranian government over its nuclear energy program. That criticism was first iterated when Press TV asked Australian Prime Minister Julia Gillard in 2012. As I said at the time that I uh, spoke about our successful bid to be on the Security Council, one of the things that we will focus on uh, is the issue of uh, nuclear capability and Iran. We do not believe that Iran should have a nuclear capability. We are involved in a sanctions program now, uh, as are nations around the world, uh, and we will focus on in the Security Council on uh, the Iran uh, and the region, the Middle East, stepping away from that threat. Australia, along with the European Union and the United States, accuse Iran of enriching uranium for nuclear weapons, allegations denied by the Islamic Republic that says that the program is for peaceful purposes only. The response has been a sharp increase in economic sanctions. The latest batch of Australian sanctions includes targeting the Central Bank of Iran. Transactions with the Iranian bank are forbidden unless authorised in advance. There's also a ban on Iran's natural gas. Australia's Foreign Affairs Minister, Bob Carr, says the sanctions are designed to force Tehran to the negotiating table. But contributing writer for Green Left Weekly, Linda Pearson, says it's the Iranian people who are suffering. There's a shortage of essential medicines, which means that people suffering from serious conditions like cancer and haemophilia are finding it very difficult to get the medication they require. The impact of the sanctions has received increased international attention, especially with the supply of advanced medicines being severely curtailed. The UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon has warned that the body's humanitarian missions have been affected and Iran's citizens are being targeted by the sanctions. Linda Pearson also says the WikiLeaks cables reveal Australia and the US working hand in hand over Iranian sanctions. The cables show that Australia is just 100% behind the US and one Australian official actually said that uh, they think that the Tehran should be subject to the most robust, debilitating and intrusive sanctions possible. So we're seeing there that yes, Australia is very much aligned with with um, the US in that regard. Early in the week, the EU announced the resumption of the P5 plus one negotiations. The Iranian government has welcomed the talks, but it's unlikely that the crippling sanctions will be lifted anytime soon. Daniel Pizarro, Press TV, Sydney.